Alrighty, 6.1 properties of exponents. Now, I don't necessarily expect you to copy all of this down, but there are some good pieces here. Um, so in words, it says for any non-zero number a, a to the zero equals one. The power zero to the zero is undefined, right? So you can't have zero to the zero. With numbers, that would be four to the zero is one. Algebra would be a to the zero is one, where a does not equal zero. The good thing to know here is 4 to the 0 is 1, or a to the 0 is 1, all right? Anything that's not 0 to the power of 0 is 1. Negative exponents. For any integer n and any non-zero number a, a to the negative n, let me see if I can draw that a little bit better, a to the negative n is the reciprocal of a to the n. Now, what does that mean? If we had 4 to the negative 2, that would be 1 over 4 to the 2, or 4 squared. For algebra, that would be a to the negative n would be equal to 1 over a to the n. And again, we can't have a being 0. The important things there are that we need to know this. I guess I need an equal sign there. And that. All right, example one, we're supposed to evaluate 11 to the zero is one, right? Any number to the zero is one. All right, example two, four to the negative three. Well, because it's to the negative three, we could flip that over and we could say, well, this is one over four to the third. Four to the third is 64, so this will be one over 64. All right, looking more. Well, that doesn't look right. Huh. Well, let's scroll down here. Uh, product of powers property. Ooh, power of product properties. Well, it skipped over some rules here. All right, here, we'll go right here and we'll write these rules down. Um, the product of powers. All right, product means to multiply and then powers means we have exponents. Um, if we have something like four to the sixth times four to the fifth, that would be the same thing as four to the five plus six, which is four to the 11th. Okay, in algebra terms, we would say a to the m times a to the n would be a to the m plus n, All right? That's what we may need to make sure we know. Okay, if you have two things next to each other that have the same base, then you can add their exponents, right? If they're multiplying, you add the exponents. <clears throat> um, next up, we have quotient of powers. This one talks about division, whereas the other one was multiplication. If we have something like 4 to the 6th over, we'll say 4 to the 2nd, that would be 4 to the 6th minus 2, which is 4 to the 4th. Using algebra, we could say, well, if we have a to the m over a to the n, that would be a to the m minus n. Okay. Um, and power of a power property. Let me use another color for that. Power of power. Power. This would be something like if we had 4 to the 6th squared, that would be equal to 4 to the 12th. You would multiply those. Okay, here, let me write that step in there. We'd say 6 times 2, and then we'd say 4 to the 12th. Using algebra, we would say if we had something like a to the m to the n, that would be a to the m times n. All right, we need to make sure that we have these rules here. 
All right, moving back, and I think we're supposed to be on example three now. Wherever, oh, there it is, okay. Example three, this is supposed to be nine squared times nine to the fifth. Well, those are the same base. They're both the number nine. We can add their exponents. This will be nine to the seventh, which is some huge number, but I'm just going to leave it as nine to the seventh. Example four. This is five to the sixth with parentheses around it squared over five to the third. The parentheses up top should tell us, oh, we have to multiply here. So this is going to be 5 to the 12th over 5 to the 3rd. And then we have 5 to the 12 minus 3. We can subtract that bottom piece, which would be 5 to the 9th, which again would be some huge number. And I'm just going to leave it as 5 to the 9th. All righty, next up, power of a product. So this here, using numbers, we'd say 3 times 2 to the 5th would be 3 to the 5th times 2 to the 5th, right? It's almost like distributing, right? Distributing, we normally think about whenever we have something like 5 times, I don't know, 6 plus x, and we distribute the 5, right? This is kind of like distributing. It's the, it's the exponent version of distributing. Um, in algebra, if we have a, b to the m, that would be equal to a to the m times b to the m. All right, this rule also works for division, for quotients. If we have 3 halves to the fifth, that would be 3 to the fifth over 2 to the fifth. In algebra, we could have a over b to the m would be equal to be a to the m over b to the m. And of course, b can't be, can't be 0. All right, example number five. This one is 4x to the fourth with parentheses. Well, we, we kind of distribute that exponent there. We'd have 4 to the fourth times x to the fourth. Uh, 4 to the fourth is 256, so this would be 256x to the fourth. Example number six, this is c over two, all to the fifth. This would be equal to c to the fifth over two to the fifth. Two to the fifth is 32, and c to the fifth stays the same. Example number seven, this is five to the zero times two to the negative three. Well, five to the zero is one, so we could turn that into a 1 times 2 to the negative 3. Well, 1 times anything is just whatever the anything was. So this is just the same thing as 2 to the negative 3. Right? Notice there, we had 5 to the 0, and it just goes away. All right. On homework and stuff, if you have something to the 0, it can just go away whenever it's in a fraction like this. Right? Um, 2 to the negative 3rd would be 1 over 2 to the 3rd, and 2 to the 3rd is 8. So this would be 1 over 8. Example number eight. This is eight to the fifth, or eight to the fifth, times eight to the sixth over eight to the seventh. Well, the numerator could turn into eight to the five plus six, and then we still have our denominator. This would be eight to the 11 over eight to the seven, which would be equal to eight to the 11 minus seven, which is eight to the fourth. And I'm just gonna leave it as that. All right, the last two examples, we've already done ones like this. If you'd like to do them on your own, you can. But this is 2y to the 6th and b over 5 to the 3rd, right? Your answers should be, if you were to work these out on your own, would be 64y to the 6th and b cubed over 125. All righty, that is 6.1.